So, as you can already tell from other people talking about it, Crimson Days uh, was recently announced and I think it was the TWAB as being cancelled, like they're not doing it this year. And of course that's why I'm here now, I'm just going to talk and rant about it and stuff. So if some of the things I'm saying is a bit off, you know, just let me know below. But yeah, no, it's very weird, like Crimson Days has been around for a long time. I can't remember when it first, I, was it 2015 when it started? I think it was like around that time, back in Destiny 1. But to be fair, like, it's not really much of an event. Like, don't get me wrong, I, I like the event, I like the aesthetic, I like the tower redecoration and all that. It's just, the only problem with the event is it lasts a week. So, like, if you're magically, like, on holiday for that week, or if you're, like, super busy that week and you can't get on, then you're just screwed, like, you can't do anything else about it. At least, like, with the other events, they're, like, three to four weeks long. Like, it's weird. We just had the dawning, and I can't remember how that long that was. But to be fair, I only played for, like, the first week, and then I just dipped after that. You know, it's weird. I, I know um, some YouTubers were talking about how, like, basically Crimson Days was... Uh, or the Doubles playlist. I don't think it was the Crimson-specific one, but that was vaulted. Which makes sense if it's, like, the Crimson double version. Not the, like, normal double version. I think the normal double version should have stayed. Like, they should have, like, just kept it in the game. Just, I don't know. They, they'd they have to reintroduce it somehow. Maybe, like, maybe during the week of, like, competitive, there's, like, a new playlist open for, like, competitive doubles or something. That would be cool, I think. But then again, this comes from a guy that rarely plays Crucible. The only time I really play Crucible is when Mayhem or Iron Banner is available. Like, so... That don't take my opinion on that. Other than that, it's also good as well to um, basically just see that Bungie aren't entirely just going to push out this event just to milk more Eververse items. And even if they've already made the items now, they've probably just pushed them to next year now. So, like, it'll help them, like, even if it's just the tiniest bit, concentrate on doing extra bits to game, hopefully. Or put more effort towards Guardian games, which... Remember, that, that event's next now. So if Guardian Games flops, man, who Yeah, and I'm one of the sad cons that actually fucking grinded that event. I know, like, I, I just had to get Air Apparent, man, just at the time. But honestly, if I knew, like, I think you can buy Air Apparent for spoils. Or maybe you can't, yeah, I don't know. But if you can, then I... If, obviously, if I knew that in advance, I wouldn't have. But then again, it probably would have been just available during this event as well, so it doesn't really matter. But thinking about that now, like, the main reason I think that they actually aren't holding a Crimson Days this year is mainly because of the next season, like, literally starting <laughs> on Valentine's week, like. I don't think they'd be able to be like, hey, here's the new activity, story, whatever, season, and along with that, here's Crimson Days as well. Have fun trying to juggle both in the one week. And then people will be actually happy because there might be a good bit to do. Even though I just said Crimson Days is not really up to much. But you get the picture, like, you know, you have, t t like, two different things to do. Just, like, Beyond Light and Season of Hunt. Except, at least, I think they were paced out anyway, so. Sorry, I just can't stop thinking about how, like, the next events will go. Like, are they going to bring, like, Guardian Games closer to us now? Because, like, it's going to be a lot longer, I think, before the next event. They could do it where they're like, all right, here's Guardian Games, like, let's say in March, for example. Then uh, we have, like, May, we'll have, like, Sources of Heroes. And then July, we'll have the Moments of Triumphs, you know, like, maybe separating uh, Sources of Heroes and the Moments of Triumph events into two different ones. To be fair, though, if, I don't think people would be really, like, too happy with a Moments of Triumph specific event. But to be fair, like, it's just Moments of Triumph, bro. Like, it's cool, it's G, whatever. It is what it is, bro. You do all the triumphs for a shirt, which, funnily enough, I actually didn't buy this year, which is weird. God damn, I missed out on 100 views. Uh, Crimson Days. Yeah, no, it's just... If anything, though, I'm almost certain that I think in, like, Grandmasters and stuff, they still have some of the Crimson Day... Uh, Crimson... Yeah, Crimson Double Crucible uh, features. Like, they still have that in there anyway. And I noticed in, like, the latest version of the Hawkmoon quest. As you're uh, listening to this, I'm recording this, like, the week before reset, so. Um, but I noticed how, like, the Acolytes actually had a uh, Black Armory look to them. Like, there's so much assets I've noticed through Beyond Light and Season of Hunt and whatnot that I'm like, oh, man. They removed all these big things and 
Well, you know, like, ba basically everything before Forsaken. But they're still re willing to reuse assets because they know that, like, it's just going to be there for a way, so why not just throw it in? Which, to be fair, why not? Like, it's probably going to be a long time anyway before we see those effects anyway. Unless somebody has, like, the uh, Black Armory uh, shader. I was going to say camo. And, like, you just see the effect going on it there. But I don't I don't know if you can even get that anymore. Probably can in collections or something. I don't know. But, yeah, no, it's weird as well. Because this Crimson Days, I was actually planning on recording it on, like, all three characters. And trying to splice a video up together and put it out, like, before... Well, as you're listening to this next reset. But Bunch, you're just like, ah, Joe, you, you want to record a Crimson Day video? Nah. No. No, thank you. It's like, ah, uh, GG. But yeah, I don't think I have anything else to talk about Crimson Days, to be honest. I, I kind of just wanted to chime in a little bit there. Unless you want to hear my opinion on, like, if it's coming next year. I'd say it would be. But if the Witch Queen releases in November as well, then maybe we won't have Crimson Days anymore. I'm not going to lie. But then again, even the Witch Queen could be, like, delayed as well. That'd be... Uh, okay, it's not really cool that they're delaying a big uh, content drop. And to be fair, I don't trust them delaying anymore. Because, like, Beyond Light released in a certain way for a lot of people. So, like, yeah. I'd say don't take two months and do nothing with them two months. If anything, the thing I'm looking forward to right now is the introduction of crossplay. So I could finally... Just be able to be like, like if my brother asked me to do something with him on uh, testing, I'd be like, oh yeah, I'll be there in a sec. And i just load up my PC and just be like, boom, I join him, you know? And like, I hopefully like Game Pass will be available on PC as well. Because I don't know why, I'm just, I'm not arsed like paying for the full amount for like all the DLCs that have released, like Forsaken, Shadowkeep and Beyond Light. And of course, Witch Queen and Lightfall after that, you know? Like, I'd rather just pay, like, the uh, Euro offer and then wait until they give me another Euro offer and just keep going from there. Because I don't really play all the time. The last time I played Destiny now was, like, I say that, but it was, like, two days ago. But to be fair, I've stopped playing now. I, I want to now wait till, like, um, well, this reset so I can do the Hawkman quest with my brother to get the ship. But other than that, I'm pretty much just waiting for the next uh, season just to see how everything goes. And honestly, a lot of people are saying, like, Oh, this is when Season of Dawn came out. It's probably going to be good. No, bro, shush. Don't, don't say shit like that, bro. What happened? Um... Okay, to be fair, Season of Arrivals wasn't as bad as we probably thought it was. It was just really long and drawn out, you know? Because previously we got, like, uh, Opulence. And prior to that, we got Warmind. If you were to line them up like that, you know? But obviously, Opulence is the better of the two, in my opinion. But anyway, I'm going to stop there. There's nothing really else to talk about. I've gone off topic now from Crimson Days, but that's why this is around, isn't it? But anyway, thank you, Guardian, so much for listening to this video. If you like it, obviously like it. Dislike if you didn't like it. Comment if you want. Subscribe if you want. And hit the bell if you do so desire. I might get a Iron Banner video up soon, but we'll just have to see. So see you, Guardian. Uh, what, what did the other say? Like, see you, Starside or something? Oh, I know. Shit, that's Bife saying. Wait, I didn't see that.